bleh, bleh, bleh. Mic test, mic test. I really just like had a terrible coughing fit right before the stream was supposed to start. So I don't know how good how good my voice sounds right now. Did I just repeat myself? That wasn't even like a proper stutter. That was just me repeating myself for the sake of repeating myself. Also, I'm not. It's not about my mic. It's about my voice. I just had the worst coughing fit. But also, it's like hi, hi. By the way, hi everyone. Um. Sorry, I just had to have water. Did I? Did I start YouTube Studio? I. I did start YouTube Studio. Okay. Hi, Red Bugs. We're still trying to decide what theme for today's stream. It's a Zatsu. It's only a Zatsu. Oh, is my starting? Is my BGM? No, my BGM's rolling. You silly willy willy. You silly willy awana ahead. Um. Yeah, we're still trying to decide what theme of today's talk. Um. I'm not sure if we should do existential dread. Yeah, of course I'm still on intro screen. The five minute mark isn't here yet. You, you still have two minutes. It's a little loud though? My BGM or me? The BGM's supposed to be loud. It, it gets quieter later. Um, we are doing laundry together, but it's still Zatsu. Everything's a Zatsu on this stream. Um, but yeah. Existential dread? Or... Or, I don't know, I've been in a really good mood. Afkai put me in a really good mood. I got to meet some of you guys. I got to meet some love bugs. Thank you for coming and supporting me. I met a lot. I met so, 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 so much. Existential dread. Ikuza! Ikuza! I don't know, how about favorite Afkai moments? I guess we could do, do both. I, I, I guess um, we'll go until my laundry finishes. So laundry day? Yeah, it's laundry day. I haven't done laundry in a really long time. We're doing them in like small batches though, so this is like, this is actually, oh my god, my door is actually, because I just put my laundry in the machine, my door is actually unlocked. Give me one second. What are we washing? Um, clothes? We should do, I should, I should wash my sheets, actually. Um, hold on, it's a five minute mark, let's go. <laughs> I don't know why I do that panting thing, that's, that, that's pretty gross. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm in a washing machine. <laughs> Can I spin? I can spin if I remember the key. Wait, did I speed out the stream? Reverse cycle, reverse cycle, reverse cycle. While I check if I tweeted my stream. Clanka, 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 clanka. Let's be, get me orientated right. Ah, 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 ah. Hey. Ah. Uh, hey, love bugs. I missed you. <laughs> Finally a phase girl getting clean. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, washers down, your dryer... Washer drowns you, dryer breaks you. Something like that. You guys aren't hearing. Am I crazy? Am I hearing Discord notifications that don't exist? Give me one second. I think I am. I think I am. Um... Hi! Hi, 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 hi. Sorry, I have to just mute that really quickly. Um, help, step, bro, I'm stuck in the washing machine. There's a clip for you. <laughs> you missed me? I missed you too. Um, wait, did I say it again? Did I save a line? Did I save a line? Um, uh, is Dizzy Dry Clean only? Um, I am. Um, Observer. Ah! My notifications! Hold up. Let me, let me, let me, let me move this up. Kay, thank you for the five dollars. I too am doing the laundry for the first time in three weeks. I'm so happy you're getting your laundry done. And um, thank you. Um, 
Start with him. Did I forget the line? Hi, love bug. I missed you. Are we washing the blood of an innocent from our hands? Uh, love you, Dizzy. Hope we have more after our history soon. I think there's one coming up. I might have to change the topic because, well, I'll tell you guys more about it. Let's go wash my laundry. And thank you for the super, by the way. Um, wow, I think this is the screen. I think this is the screen. This is the screen, right? There's my laundry. It's starting. Look, look, it's starting. Also, if you periodically hear my phone go off, that's Ember texting me. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah. Is the reflection all good? Um. Uh, I think. I think so. At most, you might see my legs, but I don't think I'll die if you guys see my legs. Uh, TNT Kaboomski, I am basically paying for your laundromat expenses. Uh, but I hope you had a good Akka. I really wanted to make your panels, but I had no time. <gasps> why didn't you come to my panel? Why didn't, why didn't you come to my panel? Also, Squid, thank you for the super chat. I missed you and your huge pair of eyes. <laughs> so this is the laundry stream? Yeah, we're watching my laundry. Look at it go. If you're wondering about my laundry settings, okay. Listen up, boys. If you want to maximize the laundry game, you got to follow along. You got to follow along, too. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> you gotta listen to my instructions! <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, uh, um, 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 first of all, first of all, to make sure that your fibers, your clothes, your clothes fibers last a long time, you're gonna want to wash on cool, cool, cold, cold, cool, the icy setting, the icy setting, okay? You're gonna want to wash on the icy, icy, icy setting, cold, cold, it's cold. I'm clapping with my hands. Can you guys tell that I'm in a really good mood? Yesterday, I wanted. So yesterday after our panel, I went I went to go take take a walk, right? And then I did a little happy dance on the sidewalk because I was so happy because so many of you guys showed up and like you guys laughed at my jokes. You guys thought I was funny. You guys thought I was funny. I was really scared that the thing that would happen is I would try to make a joke and it wouldn't be funny and then you guys wouldn't laugh at me and it'd be really awkward because the other girls um the other invaders would feel obligated to like push things through and then I you know I can't read real all the time so I might just start I might just start repeating the joke <laughs> where can I watch this panel it's gone it's in the boy the abyss I was wondering if anyone in the audience was gonna be smart enough to record it Ha ha, ha ha, you, you'll never see the panel, you'll never see the panel, because none of you recorded it, ha ha. <laughs> I'm a mean person. I saw earlier today that if they were streamed, they will be posted on the Off Guy pa YouTube. Except we asked for this one not to. <laughs> uh, why is this ice connect girl happy? I'm so no, no, I'm sad. Keep sobbing to me. Stay.
they sub because because I'm only happy because I'm only happy because of you. I'm only happy because of you guys. Also, Amber and Jelly. I'm that duplicitous whore, Lumi, you know. <laughs> I have a whirlpool washer that has more prongs than there are holes on the outlet. Should I just force it? I don't want to get get a new washer. Uh, I would check the voltage on that one. Yeah, yeah, see, I know, I know about electricity things. I know about voltage and watts. <laughs> Compliment me. <laughs> I was happy to see Jelly perform. She did so good. She did so good. Um, what was your favorite song? I liked Cruel, Cruel Angels the, the, the Cruel Angels thesis because you know, like usually anyone who sings that song is, has a pretty deep voice. I think so. We're like. But she was like. Shelly, please don't get mad at me. I know that was bad. <laughs> I saw the undies. You shouldn't. They're all in that like little cat bag. I don't know if you can see the cat bag, but there's a little cat bag, and that's that's where all my undies do be. You might you might have seen my sleep shorts because I sleep in shorts. I like shorts. Shorts are shorts are good fabric. Um, how's this three weeks worth? Well, actually, I mostly wear white, so, um, these are just my darks and my colors. So, the real, the real, like, three weeks worth is all my white stuff. But I didn't wanna... I thought if I filmed my whites, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything more. <laughs> Stains, am I a joke to you? Well, no, I mean, if you don't stain your clothes regularly, then you're good. Um, oh, Mr. 350P just picked up the sign me and greet card. Thank you for hitting me back with a country voice. Hey, howdy, hey, howdy, howdy, Mr. 350P. Dizzy love, and thank you for the 9.99 super chat. Don't spend, um, don't spend too much. I know, I know, off card really drains a bank, bank account, so. Uh, well, I appreciate it. You guys are not obligated. To, uh, super chat me. I really do appreciate all the love and support. Really, 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 This is me if I was going through the washing machine saying really. Really, really, really. I expected darker clothing coming from you. Well, that's the thing. I'm trying to be... I used to... I used to wear... So... So... Ah, oh, you spent 600 plus the first day? <gasps> That's a lot. Hi, hey, hey, y'all put on a great event this week. I was like, I was so glad you guys had a good time. <laughs> I literally was like, actually, yesterday I woke up in a really bad mood because I woke up and I was really scared and like nervous for the panel because, um, as invaders, it's really hard for us to line up. Um, a time for rehearsals. Um, so I was really, really nervous. And then I actually went into the panel and it was so much fun. And I don't know, it's just so... It's so easy when it, it's like the other invaders, you know? Um, using bleach on your colors and black clothes makes them shinier and cleaner, especially designer clothes. It's recommended to be pour, to be pour on them first. Uh, thank you for your five dollars. Um, Actually, I have color safe bleach, so technically I can do that. It does actually brighten my colors. Uh, Agent John Glow, thank you for the two dollars. Is that my FBI agent? <laughs> Getting ready to spend 900 but I make it to the con next year? Just me crazy, you crazy. Um... Reminder, do not use fabrics often there. I agree, don't use... Hello, if you're just coming in, by the way. Um... I agree, don't use fabrics often, and we'll get into that. And then will there be a Texas con? We will have at least two, I think two more conventions at minimum uh, this summer. Uh, I don't know if I can announce anything yet. 
just have to confirm that first. Um, what I will say is one of the conventions, uh, the upcoming one. You guys, I'm gonna let you guys. Oh, I dropped everything. I dropped everything. Um, conventions happen that often. Yeah, we're pretty frequent. Um, I will say I will quit my job and get ready to go to one. No, 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 no! Don't quit your job. Don't quit your job. Don't, 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 don't. Um, please say they aren't all in that hell. <laughs> you mean California? Um, I will say the next convention will not be at a convention space that we've been to before, and it might be at another coast. Maybe, 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 um, Brazil confirmed. I saw that. I saw a Twitter post where you guys bought, um, where you guys bought, actually, have we been on that coast? I don't remember. But, um, where, 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 I did see, uh, that, that Twitter post where you guys brought the, the flag to Pippa. That was pretty funny. <laughs> um, um, uh, honestly, I wish I lived in the USA while sending you love from Spain. Thank you from the, for the love from Spain. I had at my meet and greet. Hi, if you're watching. Hi, if I, you're watching. I had two people come to my meet and greet. One from, um... Correct me if I'm wrong, Puerto Rico, and one from France, and uh, it was really nice meeting you guys. I'm sorry that I am completely illiterate in every language that I speak. Um, it was fun though. It was fun though because the French guy uh, recognized the three little pigs. The three little pigs. When I I, I I said the three little pigs because because that's the only French I know. Voici liste de trois petits cochons. Yeah. <laughs> Love from Chile. You're all the way in Chile? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Portobello. Mushrooms. Um, also, I missed a tip. We're dead ox. Thank you for the five dollars. Dizzy washes, ember dries. Okay. I, I prefer actually to air dry most of my clothes. Um, that way it lasts extra, extra long. Uh, Leah love, yeah, Leah love. Uh, everyone say hi, Leah. Say, L-O-V-E, we love Leah. Leah, la 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 Leah, la 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 Leah, la la la. Uh, Classy, do you have a clothesline? No, Ikea sells these, like, um, these drying racks, so I, I have, like, a, f I have, like, a fleet. Of drying, drying racks for my clothes, and then like every laundry day, I just like pull them out and like hang dry. It sounds very poverty. It sounds incredibly poverty, and it is. It is. <laughs> um. L O V E. We love Leah. Leah. La 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 la. Leah. <laughs> um. Made a mistake of putting her bras in the dryer. Unbearable pain. You wear bras. That's cool. I respect that. Um, sometimes I dry my bras, honestly. You just put them in a laundry bag. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Do you guys know what that song is? It's like from a... It's from like a TV show? It's from like a TV show for kids. It's like... Ba -da 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 over your shoulder, you know that something like that. Da 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 da. I was humming this earlier, and I was wondering where it was from, but I can't remember lyrics for the life of me. Um, Drake and Josh. Is it Drake and Josh? Maybe it's Drake and Josh. I'll I'll go look it up later. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Uh, 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 mm. I've been in a very nostalgic mood lately, actually. So I've been like revisiting a lot of. Um, old media. I, I've been reading fan fiction. That's why I've been up too lately. Oh, that's why I did on my day off. Well, no, I went to a cafe. So I took an extra day off this week before off guy. Not because I wanted to, but because my neighbor was doing some illegal drilling and we cut a line and I didn't have power. Um, 
But yeah, I had an extra day off this week. This week? Last week. Last week. Um, did I find oil? I, they, they found a power line. Um, yeah, no. What kind neighbors indeed. Um, 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 uh, they restored it, like, city, city came by and fixed it up, but, um, yeah. You shouldn't even be d digging in this neighborhood. I live in, like, a me- like, I live in the city. There's nothing to dig for here. Um, but yeah. Anyways, have, have you been looking into emergency backup power? I got my solar stuff just this week, just in case. Usually it's pretty good where I am, um, so I don't usually have to worry about it. Um, I don't know if it gave him a fine or not, I didn't look into it too much. I, I basically spent most of the day at, um... Did you guys see my videos? I edited videos. I spent most of my day editing videos, um, at a cafe. I think I'm slowly becoming a cafe regular there. But yeah, I also, I also, when I wasn't editing videos at the cafe, I was reading fan fiction at the cafe. <laughs> Normally you would get a fine, you hit a power line. I mean, probably, not in my business, whatever, I don't talk to them. Mm. Watch them all, forgot to comment on song. Go comment, go comment, but not until after this, this stream, okay? Go comment. Um, did we see if they added soap, my detergent, into my laundry yet? Is anyone watching? I, I'm pretty sure I have I've been having some like laundry issues. So so now I'm concerned watching this. Huh. Uh um uh, uh, Did Z should I buy the retro or the smartwatch Tamagotchi? There's a new Tamagotchi that just came out. Um, if you want to buy that one. I'm waiting on it. I think me and Ember gotta pick it up. I didn't see it. No suds, right? No suds! Huh. Huh. That makes me nervous. If you're wondering what laundry detergent I use, I use a sage and mint scented laundry detergent. Sometimes I like to switch it up for lavender, but lately I've been but lately, Ember has been calling me an old woman for liking lavender scents so much. I really like lavender, though. I don't think it's old lady. Is it old lady? I did remember to put detergent in. I definitely put uh, deter the, the detergent in. Hey, glove. Start up lavender is relaxing. People sniffs lavender plush plushy she isn't old. My mom likes lavender. That is not comforting. That is not comforting at all. Guys, you don't have to be a hag to like lavender. No. <laughs> but, um, what was I saying before? Yeah, if you're looking into a Tamagotchi, there's a new one coming out. It looks pretty good. It is one of the color series. It depends what you're looking for out of a Tamagotchi. What sort of experience you want with your Tamagotchi? That's what I would go off of. If you're just looking for like a cute little accessory, you might as well grab a Tamagotchi Cadet or a Tamagotchi Nano. The Tamagotchi Nano is gonna be with whatever your favorite collaboration is, be it Evangelion, be it Vocaloid, um, but the Tamagotchi Connect, that one comes in with best patterns and, in my opinion, the cutest case. And you can hang that one on anything. I mean, it's a cute accessory that tells people that you are a man-child. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't the Tamagotchi Uni in Japanese? It's a global release. It's a global release. It's the only global release we've ever gotten. Um, so it's simultaneously released throughout the world right now. So Go check that out. I actually haven't done enough reading onto it. I should do more reading on to it. Um, but yeah, is this a Sukino Mito stream? I wish. She's so cute and talented. I love Sukino Mito. Is Dizzy a man child? <laughs> I 
I'm too poor for rent. Oh, if you don't have money, then I definitely recommend getting a Tamagotchi Connect. I think you could also probably find them secondhand or um, on eBay or something. Um, but yeah, uh, all the basic fa functions of a Tamagotchi are around the same thing. I don't know. Ooh! Uh, I know what I'm gonna do for my birthday now! Wait, 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 wait. I know what I'm gonna... I, I, I know what I'm gonna do for my birthday. Actually, I have to get permissions. But I'm gonna get permissions for it, and then I'm gonna do it. Um... I'm going to give away one of my Tamagotchis for my birthday. Birthday. I was thinking of just marathon streaming for, for, for a bit. I don't think I want to do a donathon, but I want to give back to you guys. So so maybe we'll I'll give away one of my I'll, I'll figure it out with um staff, but maybe I can give away one of my tamas. I have to reset it. I have to like hard reset it though, because I don't know how much. Yeah, I don't know how much goes on in Tamagotchi tech. Who knows? Maybe the Tamagotchi has my address. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd be happy, I'd be happy, I'd be very, very happy to give away one of my Tamagotchis and still have a donut bond and do an auction. <sighs> no, it's okay. We're, we're actually actively, I think, let me check the Discord. I believe we're auctioning off the standees from Offkai right now on the Phase Connect uh, Discord. So if you're interested in picking up, um, uh, a life-size Dizzy? That might be the place to head. Let me actually see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, off Kai cutout auctions start at 5 p.m. and end at 7 p.m. Uh, a link is in the main Discord channel to the Phase Kai auction house. Um, so make sure you go to check it out. I don't know how much each of the things thingy my bobbies, thingy my barbies. Boo -boo 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 -boo. I don't know how much everything's at right now, but I can't imagine, I can't imagine I'd be very expensive. Yours is currently at 350. Oh, oh, that's, that's so nice. You guys would pay $350 for me. Aw. I am both dehydrated and shy. Yeah, Pippo's cutout is probably gonna be very expensive. Um. I'd pay one bagillion. Aw, that's really that's really cute. You guys are cute. <laughs> uh, Tamagotchi prices are more reasonable than their Digimon counterparts. Dude, I'm the thing about Digimon is they haven't like updated the detector. They just got color. They just got color. Uh, Nikki is at a uh, thousand. That's what Nikki deserves. That's what Nikki deserves. But yeah, no, 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 no. It's okay. You don't have to raise it any higher than it already is. I think 350 is fine. That's all already like more than I can ask from you guys. That's like already way more than I can ask. Um, just I don't know. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. I'm just happy. You guys are someone. Someone wants to take me home. <laughs> Dizzy, did you see the junk table at Aka? Yeah, I did. That's crazy. I heard, I heard he was money betting. <laughs> I heard uh, Sakuna was money betting. <laughs> Dizzy on Spin Cycle One. I'm on Spin Cycle right now. Actually, it should be on Spin Cycle right now. I'm also super congested, so I'm sorry about that. Sniff, 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 sniff. But yeah, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about the cafe I've been going to. Yeah, so I'm becoming like a regular at this cafe right now. Um, I've been spending a lot of time there. Did you know I'm actually, I'm actually the invader that touches grass in those. I finally, I finally managed to get Ember out on a walk recently. Um, but yeah, I usually try to spend like an hour a day outside because if I don't, I'll go completely insane and I'm only like kind of insane right now. And you never want to be balls to the wall insane. You only want to be sort of crazy because, you know, a certain level of physical, like, a certain level of traditional beauty mitigates insanity. And right now I'm really, I, I am really, I am 
really playing the line. If you know, if they know your name, you're officially regular. Oh, they don't know my name. I'm too shy. I'm too shy to give them my name. You know, I don't give. I don't. I don't. Whenever I go out to eat somewhere, or um, or I go to a Starbucks or something, and they ask for my name, I always give a fake name. I always give my go-to or Sam and Naomi. I mean. Sam is totally my real name, guys. It's definitely Sam. <laughs> um, but yeah, I usually give him a fake name. Um, just cause, like, I don't know. I get shy. Like, I already, I already like jump. I'm, I'm like really jumpy. I get, I get really, really, really jumpy. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that? I feel like we're on the rinse cycle. Did my detergent not go in? What in the hell? If you rearrange the letters in Dizzy, you get Sam. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. They don't know my name yet because I'm shy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm slowly becoming a cafe regular. And recently, uh, they, they got a new barista. They got a male barista. And I kind of ship him. I kind of ship him with this this other female barista because because they have like they have these moments i'm a creep i'm a people watcher so they have these like moments together where it's just like he'll he'll like turn around and he'll almost bump into her and then she'll be like and then she'll laugh and it's really cute <laughs> but then but then it got me thinking okay here's here's a creepy weird old part um Here's the creepy weirdo part. Um, in hindsight, I think they might be siblings. <laughs> I only, I only came to this realization recently. I only came to this realization recently when I met, or like I saw. I saw the cafe owner and I'm pretty sure at this point at this point I'm pretty sure it might be a family owned cafe <laughs> uh, So um yeah that's my weird little admission of the day <laughs> We're keeping it I, that was a weird voice for that Ye Yeehaw we Yeehaw, keeping it in the family. Is that, is that, <laughs> is that a good Western accent? What's the difference between a cafe and a restaurant? I don't actually know. I don't actually know. They have pretty good sandwiches at this place, but the sandwiches are kind of expensive, so I try not to eat there too much. But sometimes, if I was sitting there for a really long time, and by a really long time, I mean like an hour and a half, because I have a short attention span, um, Sometimes I'll grab a sandwich. Mm. Please keep your fanfiction to your stories. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just gotta focus on spinning. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a very, very good idea. Hi, Dizzy. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. I hope you're having a good day. Are you having a good day? I'm having a good day. I've been having, actually, I've been having a really good weekend. I'm happy. So happy, happy, happy. Oh, you know what else? I, I've been watching. Now that you bring up Leah, um, I, or something I've been doing, something I've been doing is I started watching The Ricky again, which is this like police drama. This police drama. Um, the main character is Nathan Fillion. Um, and Nathan Fillion gets an odd amount of airtime on Phase Connect channels. We talk about Nathan Fillion a little too much, I think. I think, well, I guess, as far, I think the world talks about Nathan Fillion a little much. He's a pretty popular actor, but at the same time, I feel like nobody, it's like, who, who the hell knows Nathan Fillion? But Rookie's a pretty, pretty good show. Yeah, yeah. Um, I watched the first season of that. Yeah, I got, I, I watched, um, I watched a bit of it earlier this year, and then I stopped watching it because we were getting to, like, we were getting to this arc that I had spoiled for myself, and it was a little, like, 
Ah, I have I have grown an attachment to these characters, and I do not want to see bad things happen to these characters. Therefore, I cannot watch this. I cannot watch this scene because the scene would harm my characters, and that would be detrimental to me and my and my feelings. And you know, I have sensitive feelings. I'm not actually. Am I sensitive? Okay, what do you guys define as sensitive? Because I cry easily, but also not a lot of things. But like when I cry, it's always for like, I don't know, sad manga and stuff. Is that, is that sensitive? Am I sensitive? Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty sensitive. You're pretty sensitive. Oh. Uh, Did you cry watching The Lion King? No, not really. Um... Did you see the One Piece live action trailer, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna- we're gonna- <laughs> 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 That's all I'm gonna say about that! Um... Yeah. But- blah 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 Yeah, I started watching the Ricky Again with Nathan Fillion, and Nathan Fillion gets way too much discussion on, uh... Did I miss the super chat? No, I did uh, Nathan Fillion gets way too much discussion on, on Face Connect channels. That's all I wanted to say about Nathan Fillion. But Variki's been pretty good. I like it. I got through the scene that I didn't want to see, and I watched it. And now we're on season four. I'm trying to, like, marathon it, kind of. I'm probably gonna go watch Variki after this. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Oh, I also started playing! I also started playing something. I started playing a game. I started playing a game. This week, I started playing Sunhaven. Do you guys know what Sunhaven is? It's apparently like Stardew Valley, but I've never actually played Stardew Valley. So I started playing S Sunhaven. I only got like 20 minutes in. I only got 20 minutes in because, um, they cut my electricity by digging. Uh, yeah, so it was a fun 20 minutes, but I feel like I should play more of that game. Um, oh, did Remy play it? I should watch that stream then. Uh, yeah, Sam had a bad day. It's okay. One bad day um, was replaced with a really good weekend. I was so happy. I was happy dancing. Yeah, I went on a walk and I was going, going to my favorite cafe. And I don't know. I was just like so hyped, but it's so, it's so easy being with like the invaders like it's so this was the point i was trying to get to now i remember haha -ha. i only went on a tangent for 40 minutes or 35 depending how you're counting um but yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um it's so, 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 so easy being with the other invaders. There's something so natural about the way we interact and have fun together. And you know, like clear, obviously when you're an agency, you're like, when you're an agency, you're like pro law exposed to all these different girls, these other different talents for so long that of course you guys get close, but I'm, I'm very cautious, I think of what I share with others online. Like I, I, I'm very open to sharing things that I think are superficial at surface level, but there's something with the other invaders. It's just like, it feels like we've been friends for a really long time. And it feels like, you know, if we all just lived a little closer, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like, like it wouldn't be weird to like hang out and go go get like Starbucks together and go shopping together and and do chores together. I wanna do chores with them. I wanna I wanna go to the laundry no, I wanna I wanna go grocery shopping with them. Stuff like that and I don't know. I just really appreciate that about them. So when we finished up with our panel, I was just like kinda kinda like I don't know, kinda high on high on life, I guess. <laughs> 
Uh, Bob Skywalker, thank you for five dollars. Why are you in the washing machine? Get out your suffocate. Okay. No, I'm gonna spin right round, right round, right round, like a record, babe. I think that's how the song goes. <laughs> True friendship means doing the laundry together. I think so too. Not gonna lie, never in my life have I ever gone grocery shopping with my friends. I only had one friend that I went grocery shopping with. And it was probably the best friendship I've ever had. Mm. Yeah. Um. Of all the stuff you could do, you wanna do chores? Yeah, I don't know. I think... Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, how do I approach this subject? I think for me, love in all forms of it is... Uh, what's... There's a proverb, actually. There's a proverb um, that I'm looking for. There's a proverb. It's like... Uh, okay, I am grossly mishandling this quote but it's like um i don't want to be with a person who is there with me during the storm i want to be with a person who will stay with me during during a drizzle something like that because if you think about it like in dire consequences we as hum we as people tend to tend to always rely on each other trauma trauma bonding is real like trauma bad things disasters naturally bring a community together but someone who's gonna stay with you during the drizzle when it's not too bad when it, but it's not good that's like that's that's i don't know i i think that's that's love i say this i've never actually been in love but i i love my friends and like I don't know, that's that's how I feel. Like it's so easy. It's so 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 easy for people to bond over like oh hate I hate this person. I hate that person. Like, oh this horrible thing is happening in my life. But like just having someone who's like willing to do mundane things with you and talk about mundane the mundane things in your life and like you know, that's what I really value. Like, I like... I'm, I'm so happy that I can be here with you guys. Um, almost every day. Almost every day. Except for Thursday and Friday. And so, some weeks on Tuesday. Um, I'm so glad that I can be here with you guys. And you guys will listen to me talk about my weird little cafe trips. And you guys will listen to me talk about my all my favorite shows. And you'll listen to me talk about um, my laundry. And I think that's, um, I don't know. I think that's, that's enough. Um, yeah. Uh, those who define themselves by what they dislike are always worse people than those who define themselves by what they love. I like aquariums! <laughs> I like aquariums! Um, Tasso, thank you for a $5 super chat. Glad to be here with you too. Aw, thanks. Yeah. I just got here, but dang it, mommy, you have to stop getting stuck in the washing machine. I'm not gonna fall for it again. Hey, stop, bro. Can you help me? Can you help me get out? There you go, there you go, where's your clip for the day? <laughs> I already did that joke, I already did that joke. Yeah. Aquarius are so good. Um, yeah. What else were we talking about? I, oh, I think someone's... Um, I think you're such a sport? Sport? Extreme! Extreme water sport! I, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I'm so congested. I can't breathe while I laugh, guys. <laughs> Uh, I feel bad. I think someone just called me wholesome. I feel really bad now. <laughs> you 
drink some water? You'll feel better? Let me drink the uh, washing machine water. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, yeah. But someone was asking about me about the clothes. Clothes in the washing machine. So these are all my color. Um. What's this about water sports? Um, yeah, we're currently discussing, um, the water polo championships and, um, the, the underwater basket weaving, um, um, Olympics. Yes, yes, very, 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 very real. S okay, these are actually probably real sports now that I think about it. Um, mm, wait, this is your literal laundry? I'm honored. Yeah, this is my literal laundry. Mm. Yeah, um, these are my darks, and I think my socks are in there. If you see a flash of white, those are my socks. Um, because I don't really care where I throw my socks, because all socks can go in whites or in colors, because all my socks are the same socks. I am very strategic about my undergarments, okay? And you should be too. Do you know how much easier it is for me in the morning? Because all my socks are the same socks. I've been buying the same socks for three years. And so in the morning, I don't have to match socks. Except for my specialty socks, like the thigh highs and stuff. Those socks are different. But those are separate. But otherwise... There's no way this is the real POV of your dryer, Dizzy. No, this is my washer. Um... Um, 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 yeah, so I have all the same socks, and so every morning when I wake up and I need to put on socks, I don't have to just spend time trying to match my socks. Five head move, yeah. You can do the same thing. Underwear applies the same way. Just buy two of the same, two of the same underwear. Wait, no, you need more than two underwears? I was gonna say bra. But I wasn't sure if I could say bra on my channel. But I guess bra is not a swear word. Bra is an appropriate word to say on stream. But if you just have like two or three of the same bras, you can just... In like all the colors of bras that you need, you just alternate be between them. Come on, bra! 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 Well, cause I could talk- Okay, I don't know. It feels weird talking about, you know, panties on stream, but, but I talk about Bola and like Dragon Ball and like they're, they are literally the Briefs family, so it should be okay, right? Um, but yeah. Yeah, you just need to buy all of the same bras and undies and sockies and then you never have to think. You know Steve Jobs does the same thing with turtlenecks? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not making this case much better for myself, am I? But anyways... Um... What was I gonna say? I was making a point with this. <laughs> Are you in the dryer? No, I'm in a rinse cycle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Remember, chat, we are all female in Dizzy's chat. She's afraid of men. I'm okay with you guys. It's like, I. I saw you love bugs, you silly willy. Wonkers. Hello, if you're just coming into stream. Um, uh, 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 I, my thing is, I don't, okay, even though I, I have a pretty good relationship with the men in my family, like, 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 like my dad and my brother, but, but because I'm close with them, I don't know how to talk to boys outside of my family. Like, I, I don't know how to socialize with boys. Um, cause like they never, they never taught me. Cause I wasn't, cause like, Fishman, Edward, oh he 
does is jong. All he does is jong. That's the equivalent of my alcoholic aunt. Like, please. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I got really shy with boys, and I don't know how to talk to them. I like people have tried to teach me. I think. Or like, no, people don't try to teach me. That's a problem. That's a problem. Everyone has so much faith in my ability to socialize, but I don't have faith in my ability to socialize at all because... Mm -mm. Do you know what the most annoying thing is? <sighs> it's so frustrating because when I tell, when I tell other, when I tell girls, when I tell girls that I don't know how to talk to guys, none of the girls ever believe me. They're always just like, Oh, Dizzy, you could get whatever. You could get any, any boy you want. No, I can't. Because the only things that interest me are aquariums, bee sex, and anime. How many people are going to listen to me talk about bee sex all the time? Like, oh, you're such a catch. Oh my god. I have nothing going to me. I'm in a washing machine on the internet. I'm Lucky Genius. Thank you for the super chat. Um, just talk to boys about the incestual barista fat. You might... There's an example! How? How am I supposed to talk to boys about that? Well, can you tell them the interesting facts about bees and figs? Actually, that's not bees. That's wasp. Get to get the gnome scale. <laughs> you were out. You were out. Bug fact. That was incredibly. Oh god, that was incredibly lame. Really overthinking the complexity of a male mind. Well, like they do. They boys play sports and boys watch movies, and I don't watch movies, and I don't play sports. And and what if they don't like the same? Like I watch some sports, but also boys take sports really seriously. So then, like, what if they don't like the same sports teams I like? So then, like, I don't know what to talk to them about because I only know about my sports teams. Um, Burning Cell, thank you for five dollars. Dizzy, you have anime. You are perfect. But I also have very strong anime opinions. And by anime, I just mean the same like twelve series on repeat because I don't try anything new. Guys have very low standards. No, they don't because, you know, you know, I have a meet and greet. You know, I have a meet and greet. I tried, I tried to tell two boys. I tried to tell two boys that they are cute and then they didn't respond to me. So I don't think, I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. <laughs> And they came to my meet and greet, so there should be a there should be a zero percent there should be a zero percent failure rate, but I still failed. That <laughs> was my juice box. So I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Zero Riz Dizzy <sighs> Yeah, I can have Riz too. I can have Riz. Uh I like girls like me. Girls like me. I got I got a lot of girls who confess to me. I have a lot of girls ask me out actually. I have girl girls like me. In fact, um I asked my brother and he said I have Huge lesbian energy. Certified XCOM occurrence. That's an XCOM occurrence. Thank you for super chat. Looking forward for the 12 hour B stream box. Thank you for $5. Um, congrats. No, no, it was pretty awful. It was pretty awful to hear. I'm not gonna lie. I like boys. Um, <laughs> um, but, 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 
yeah, don't judge all men by the awkward interactions of a meet and greet. No, I'm thinking about the awkward interactions in my real life, so I don't know. I'm at the point where it's been so long. It's been so long since... It's been so long. Well, okay, I don't get girls who confess to me necessarily. I get girls tell me... What I get a lot of the time is um, girls will tell me just... Girls usually tell me, if you were a boy, I'd marry you. Or, um, oh my god, I wished you were my boyfriend, Tizzy. Or, another one I get a lot is, you're better than my boyfriend. Mm, mm, mm. So I get those comments a lot, but then, um, I don't know. There was one time, there was one time where, where I was working a job. I was working a job. And there were a lot of people in this job. It was a big, big workplace, right? And I worked there for a while. And, you know, I had a lot of girls tell me stuff like that. I had, a, like, a lot, a lot of girls tell me stuff like that. And then, um, and then what happened is I eventually quit this job. And afterwards, so a ton of my coworkers were dating. A ton of my coworkers were dating. I was like... I feel like I was probably one of the only people to not be in a relationship at any time during this job. But I tell my coworkers we're dating and I eventually quit the job. I was having lunch after after I quit my job. I don't date coworkers, I agree. But um, after I quit my job, I was having lunch with one of my ex-coworkers and we were just talking about like, oh, who started dating, who broke up, right? And then, and then they told me, did you know that this boy always thought you were cute? And I was just awestruck because the, I, I, I think I said a total of like three words to him in my time there. Um, and then he got a girlfriend. So, you know, there, <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, would you really want to be with a literal male version of yourself though? Dating the exact same person would be horrid. I don't know. I don't know what sort of person I would want to date. Do you guys have like an ideal type? Do you guys have a preference when it comes to dating? Um, I, I, I feel like, okay, I feel like. Amber says my standards are too low. Does she have a pulse? That's about it. <laughs> Perrin, my ideal type is you. See? See? Oh, uh, can I? Can we wrench Perrin from here? Perrin, I'm gonna wrench you later. Um. Ah, I broke my own chat. Um. She breathes and is crazy. Worm blooded woman. I don't know. I'm at a point of thinking about corpses, honestly. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, and like, I don't know, I have like, I feel like the, the things that I'm insecure about are like really noticeable by men, so like, I, I get really nervous about those things too, but Amber always tells me that my standards are too low, cause like, okay, ideal partner, um, if it makes you feel better, I've had guys confess to me when I'm not into men, but I seem to have zero riz, and I never catch flirting attempts until later. Oh my god, are you prettier than me? Oh my god! Oh my god! This has been a hard stream. This has been a hard stream. <laughs> but okay, okay. What I tell Ember all the time is I want someone he likes. <coughs> Sorry, I am choking on my own air. Fatality. Oh, murder combat. I like murder combat. But I. I would like to be... Hmm, I would like 
to be with someone who likes either Digimon or or or, or Dragon Ball or Gundam. So we have something to talk about. Revolver, thank you for five dollars. You missed me. I missed you. Thank you. Um. Yeah, Digimon, Dragon Ball, or 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 Gundam. So we have something to talk about at least. And and which Gundam? Any Gundam. If they're even more into Gundam than me, that's cool. Cause then we can like they can introduce me to stuff, and we can watch we can watch stuff together. I have a watch list. I have a chronological list of what order to watch all every single Gundam series in that I'm still going through. Um, I keep it on my phone at all times. <laughs> um, you see timeline? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have that. I have that. I have everything on the timeline. Um, but, um, so 90s. Yeah, if they like 90s stuff or, or what else do I like? I think there's some 80 series. What else do I want? Um, I think, because I'm short, I'm short, so someone not too tall? Not too tall is good. Not too tall. Like, I think if I were, I think if I were to try and hold hands with someone who's too tall, I'd be like reaching up. Um, I'd be reaching up a lot, and I think that'd be uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what heights are. I don't know. I don't even... I need to actually get, like, a measuring tape to know what six foot looks like. <laughs> six foot seven. Oh, six foot seven's really tall. Um, it's okay. I think that's a negotiable, though. It's like, if they're, if they're okay with me being short, then I can be okay with them being tall. But I think, I think if it was, like, perfect person, I think a little shorter is okay. Um, as someone who has found a life partner, it's not so important to share the same hobbies, but more so as long as you have the same vibe and values. Okay, everyone, point and laugh at the happy person. Point and laugh at the person in a good relationship. Point and laugh at the person who's found love when all of us have it. Point and laugh at them. <laughs> That's what you get. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Just pretend we're laughing with you. Just pretend we're laughing with you. Um, I don't know what else is important. I ooh ooh, this one's really good. This one's really good. This one's really good. I think it's important to be with a person who who um. I don't know. I think. As long as they actively want to take care of themselves, that's important too. I think as long as you're doing your best, and you don't even have to be doing your best actually, because sometimes your best is a lot. Doing your best is a lot, and I'm glad, I'm happy and proud of you even if you're not doing your best. Sometimes you need to half-ass things, and that's okay. And I'm really proud of you for getting up and half-assing things today. Um, Ragnar, thank you for the 220. Maybe he has a point. I mean, he made, he made it and not us. Don't point out his point to me. Don't do that. You don't have to do your best, but as long as, I don't know, I would like, I would like it if um, everyone in chat, everyone in chat sometimes takes care of themselves. That's enough. Because, okay, if you come to me, right? If, if we're dating, if we're dating, right? If you were dating and you're like, hey, hey, today I only have, I only have, um, hold up. Nice. If I only, if you come to me and you're like, hi, I'm having a hard day and I only have like 20% in the tank, then like me as your partner, I should be able to be like, hey, I got you. I'll fill in the other 80% because it happens and it's okay. Um, 
so so that's important yeah um yeah yeah i think that's important so um if they like digimon and dragon ball and yeah and they try try you don't have to try your best but you have to try yeah <laughs> Is that kind? I feel like that's just like... Uh, I don't know, I just... That's how I want things to be if I'm in a relationship. <laughs> um... Yeah. <laughs> um, that sounds great for most guys. Okay, now where do you find them? <laughs> uh... Sometimes I did laundries on Thursday when I got back from, from school. That's a good laundry day. I do laundry whenever I need to do laundry. Usually it's like once every two weeks. I don't like laundry at all. Uh, yes, Queen Doom with laundry. Hi, Kilia. Everyone say, hi, Kilia. Kilia is a VTuber from A and Project. Say, hi, Kilia. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Ah, so theoretically, can can able to split clone, clone copies? One one mind, one brain, all parasite. Yes. Um. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know how we even got on that topic. There's a dork in, in chat. Is she a dork? It's okay, I think I'm I'm dizzy dork gorilla at this point. Uh yeah, guys, don't understand compliment dizzy. Then how do you talk to boy? How do you talk to boy? <laughs> um Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I, I have I I know good guys are out there and good men exist because uh, I have my, my, my big brother and him a, a papa. So you're inside the washing machine? Is Dizzy stinky? No, Dizzy clean. Oh, did the cycle end? Here, I'll restart it so we can watch more of the cycle of laundry. There you go. More laundry time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have a good big brother and I have a good dad. So... So, I know we're out there. I just don't know where... Where they hang out. Um... Get them to talk about their interests. But I only like Digimon, Dragon Ball, and Gundam. And bees. <gasps> Wait! Can I talk to you guys about the bees? There's an update on the bees that I'm following. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about the bee update. Okay. So last time I checked in with you guys, the bees, the bees have accepted a new queen into the colony. No cap. A lot of relationships starting is about hanging out and learning the vibe of a person. Getting other people to talk is a good start. Start. Spider God nine nine. Thank you for five dollars. Uh... But like then how do you how do you show you're interested in someone because like when you talk to a person right here's the thing nobody knows if I'm kidding or not nobody ever knows if I'm joking or not so like when I'm talking to a person no one can tell if I'm in a good mood or anything I, I'll say something and people will take it the wrong way so then I'm scared to talk to people and like have it matter you know um but bees Bees. Okay, so they have a, a, this hive. So I watch this beekeeper online. I'm obsessed with his bees. And uh, <laughs> um, um, but so last we checked in, he had just introduced a new queen bee into his hive. And so the first one was killed, murdered. By the hive, but this one, this one was accepted. But then, then, 
What happened with a bee is, is she was have the queen bee. This queen bee had a loose egg laying formation. And the thing about eggs, so a queen bee spends like her whole life just pumping out eggs, and she pumps out thousands of eggs, like one to two thousand eggs per day. So she had yes, she had loose eggs. She had very loose eggs. She had a very loose la egg laying pattern, and so. She was laying these eggs, and they were loose eggs, and then the beekeeper was really worried. It's not disgusting, okay? It's nature and it's metal as fuck. Um, the beekeeper was really worried about her, so then he, he checked back, and what happened is her, her egg la laying pattern, her egg laying pattern did not tighten up. So what happened is on the other side of the beehive, the worker bees have begun plotting a rebellion. What causes it to be loose? A less um, strong and powerful queen, basically. Basically, she is unfit to rule. So, the other bees are now planning a rebellion by raising a couple other queen bees. Yes, they start raising queen bees. A couple of them. They always raise a couple at a time, just in case. So there's a couple of scenarios that can happen. There's a couple of scenarios that can happen when a queen bee is like, you know, being born. So what happens is, let's say there's two queen bees that are born at the same time. Okay, so they both come out at the same time. They will instinctively recognize each other, and then they'll start making this very, very high pitch frequency, and that's how they find each other. And once they find each other, they fight to the death. So that there is only one queen to rule them all. Another scenario is one queen bee will be born before her sibling queen bee. And this queen bee will then go over to where her sibling queen bee's little, 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 like, um, hidey hole. Like the little thing she's born in. And she'll, she'll just go in and kill her. The second thing that happens, the third, I, Third? Third. The third thing that happens is one queen bee. Well, I guess. One queen bee will be b born, right? And then she will fly away to have her like little mating, let her little mating cycle. Because queen bees do not mate with bees from their like current hive. They will go out into them and do a mating flight where they will breed with other bees and they only breed they breed with many different bees in their lifetime they only do one mating height one mating flight and then she'll come back she'll come back to the hive right right and you know this will diversify genetics within the hive keeping the hive like you know genetically different or whatever and like strong but she'll go back she'll go back to her hive she'll get back to her home and she will kill her mother She'll kill her mother and take over as a queen bee for that high. But yeah, yeah. So that's an update. So right now, they're plotting a rebellion by raising multiple queen bees. And we will see what will happen in this hive. There is also the possibility that the mama queen, like the current queen bee, will catch on that these bees are plotting a rebellion and they will, and she will like, and kill and kill her her children honestly you should do a dedicated bee stream and become a true bee tuber i don't think i'm knowledgeable enough on bees for that i don't think i know enough about bees for that <laughs> Game of Hives. Yes, 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 yes. Be research stream one. Maybe next week. Well, I guess my next week's schedule is already kind of made. These are metal. A lot of bugs are. Yeah, bugs are cool. Do you know? Do you, do you guys know about ducks? Can I tell you about ducks? I know a lot about animal mating. I know. How did you get so interested in bees originally? I watched... Huh, how did I get interested in bees? I don't know. Yeah, let's not get into that. <laughs> Duck mating is scary. 
duck mating is scary because male ducks have a corkscrew. We're not gonna say what the corkscrew is, but they have a corkscrew and like the women, the women ducks, we're, their their cavities are like little whiny mazes, yeah. With like little, and they can like can do things with their insides. Like they can just like, pop goes a meat wall. That's ducks. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and this is why I can't have a boyfriend. I am sad now. talking about other other than animal mating that sounds horrible tell me more well there's so much I could tell you about I could tell you about I could tell you about uh, hyenas hyenas I could tell you about horse fish is that horse fish sea horses Seahorses. I can tell you about seahorses. Um, what other animals do I know a lot about? I can tell you about. <laughs> um, I know about. 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 I know about dolphins. I know about dolphins and. Well, I guess I should keep this discussion laundry specific because today's a laundry stream. I can tell you about the best way to do your laundry. That's what I'm really good at that. So if you're washing, if you're washing, if you're washing, I'm gonna rock back and forth my chair now. If you're washing your sheets, you should do it in high heat. That way it kills. It kills all the dead germs and gets all the dead skin cells off your bed because you spend a lot of time in your bed. And, and, and. You should probably be washing your sheets once a week. I don't. Just point blank, I don't. Um. So I try to do every other week at least. Um. What else? And then. It wrecks your sheet faster though. But, but it's okay because. Well, if you don't, if you don't do high heat, what you can do is you can put, you can put your sheets into the sun, and the sun's UV rays or UVB or UVA or UV, UVC rays will kill all the dead bugs, will kill all the dead bugs and bacteria, and then that's good. That's very good. That's very very good. And then um, 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 um Rotate sheets one week for each side. I don't know. I like I like really like worn in sheets. Like, do you guys have a thing? Of... If there's one thing I'm really particular about, uh, it would be my sheets. It would be my sheets. I have I have three blankets on my bed at any time. I need my hugging blanket. I need my regular blanket, and I need my feet blanket because sometimes you need an extra texture. I wallow in my sheets. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's why I care about them so much. Um, Alright, but how are y'all washing and drying high heat and not shrinking all the stuff you like? Just your sheets, man. I, I wouldn't do that to anything else I own. Um, what colors are they? I have white sheets. Most things I own are white. That's a weird sentence to say. Um... Because stuff does not shrink unless it's cotton. Well, not necessarily. I think as long as it's a natural fiber, you you you're risking sh 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 shrinkage. Shrinkage. You use light mode too, then I do. I do use light mode. Um. I think she lives in an asylum. No, 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 no. The padded walls are so I don't hurt my head. <laughs> Unsubbed? Light mode unsubbed? Okay! I don't know how to turn it to dark mode, first of all. First of all, if I could, I would switch. 
but I don't know how. Okay, where are graphic settings? Every website is different. God, get it together. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what was I saying? Sheets. Yeah, so sheets should be high heat. And then if you can, if you can, and only if you can, dry it out in the sun. Um, what else do I wash? My clothes? Darks? Darks should be washed in cold. I do at least a one hour cycle. I usually do a one hour cycle. Um, I might do an extra spin cycle depending on the fabrics. Or depending how heavy my load is. <laughs> I said load. <laughs> um... 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 <laughs> Um, yeah, and then... Why am I so cute? Because I made a sugar spice and... I can't tell you the secret ingredient. Um... <laughs> um, um... No, 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 it's not everything nice. It's not everything nice at all. <laughs> uh, but darks, darks, wash, wash them with like, like colors and wash them on cold. A lot of things that say they are dry clean only are not actually dry clean only. So check the actual fabric itself. Um... Yeah. Extra spin cycle depending on the, on how big the how much laundry I have. Little advice: it's cheaper to repair your old winter jacket even in a tailor than spending seventy to hundreds of dollars. Huh? You know? You know? I don't think I've ever been to a tailor. I can mend my own clothes. I can mend my own clothes. I took home back. Yeah. I, I can sew. I'm pretty good at sewing. So I hem... I, I, I can hem my own pants. I can hem my own pants. Um... And I, I wear skirts and dresses a lot, so... So it's not too bad. Um... How do you prevent pilling? I think the biggest issue with pilling, if you have pilling on your clothes, is probably you're washing them too much and putting them through a dryer too much. So probably a gentle cycle if you have different cycle settings, I'd say a gentle cycle. Uh, your clothes have been in the wash. I Well, I just restarted, so yeah. It's okay. I These are mostly house clothes, so it's okay if they pill. What is pilling? It's when the little like fibers of your clothes get all loose and they start pilling up again. Uh, Dizzy, do you ha also have a mold problem? Mm. If you have a mold problem with your um, with your washing machine, I would recommend that you wash it. I would throw some vinegar. I would throw some like white vinegar into your washing machine for like 45 minutes and just clean it out. I also recommend if your clothes smell mildewy, do the same thing. A, a vinegar rinse would, would be probably pretty good. Yeah. That's your favorite brand of detergent. I don't know the brand name. I'd have to go look it up. Um, oh my god, some have self-clean fu functions. Yes, 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 yes. Um, what else? What other tips do I know? Do not throw your salt. You know that thing people do where they like wrap, like they fit their socks within their own socks and they like wrap it up so it's like a little ball, you know, and you know, you can like play, play ball with your socks. Don't do that. That's bad for your socks because it, it like wears out the elastic in them. So I actually fold my socks. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, do you use fabric softener? No. What I will do is I will do tennis balls in my drying dry, dryer. Tennis balls in my dryer uh, when I do the dry cycle. Hi, hi, Dizzy. Sorry, I'm like, no, it's okay. Thank you for coming. We're just talking about my laundry at this point. Yeah, most guys do that. They ball them. Stop it. You're gonna ruin your socks. That's how you get holes in your socks. You know how long my socks last? Years. Unless I lose them. 
Um, I genuinely believe that there is probably a sock gnome or a sock elf or something that lives in my dryer because, you know, I do all my own laundry. I think I take pretty good care of my clothes, but I still lose all my socks. So I'm pretty sure there's a sock gnome. Um, they are cheap and I walk around the house in socks. No, socks are not cheap. Socks are not cheap if you think about it. You want to get them down past the penny per wear. You want at least past a penny. Socks are expensive for what they are. But like for the amount of fabric, the amount of fabric that you get compared to a shirt or something, socks are just insanely bad value. So take care of your socks. It's a house spirit, Dizzy. You have a Bogart in your house. Oh no, the Bogart. The Bogart. Um, if there is such a being, can I buy his stock of socks? Man, that'd be so cool if you could just get like socks directly from your sock elf. That'd be really cool. I do manual labor, but socks last like a year or two. Yeah, they're expensive. They're really expensive. Just make your own socks. That No, but a good pair of socks makes all the difference. You know those socks? Those socks were at the toes. It's like just a little bit too much fabric. I hate those socks. No, those are bad socks. Is it weird that my clothes can last for years? No, no, I still... I think I fit into most of my... Most of my past life clothes still. It's it's normal. If you take good care of your clothes, I think it's important. I think it's important to buy quality clothing. It's okay if you don't have a lot of clothes. I think all you need is a couple of shirts and... Well, no, you need more than a couple of shirts. You probably want like 10 shirts or something. If you have 10 shirts and you have like three pairs of pants or bottoms, you don't have to wear pants. You could wear... You could wear... Um, you could wear a Scottish kilt. It's Scottish, right? The Scottish are the people who wear kilts. An Irish kilt! Scottish, Scottish, yes, 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 Scottish. Yeah, yeah, it's Scottish. Um, you could wear kilts. Just have like three pairs of bottoms. Three pairs of bottoms is not bottoms. If you have less than three pairs, that's okay too. But try and get a third pair. Uh, I need ducky, ducky, ducky socks. Dizzy, dizzy, ducky, 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 ducky. Uh, 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 yeah, you need to go commando for that authentic kill experience. Do people go commando? Do people go commando in their kilts? Do you feel a breeze? A breeze for your ball. <gasps> oh no! I had an Uber driver! I had an Uber driver once who was wearing a kilt! You mean he was driving me around with his balls out? Well, this has been most upsetting information. I don't even know if he was Scottish. Oh my god, it was hot that day too. Oh no, his ball sweat was probably all over the car. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I... This has been a most upsetting... Upsetting stream. Two windows! Two windows! Oh no! <laughs> we gotta put him in the washer, bros! We gotta put him in the washer! Aww... There's a famous photo of a Scottish regiment in full kilt seated, in full kilt seated with queens, and everything is on display. Oh, speaking of queens, I got a new, I got a new postcard recently. I I, I like to collect postcards. Um, I really like collecting postcards. So I got this new postcard. Let me get it. Let me get it. It's on my wall right now. 
I I have I have a postcard card wall. I got a new postcard because what I like to do sometimes a new postcard from where? I'm glad you asked. Sometimes if I if I go to like a new place, I try to get a new postcard either from like a vintage shop or like a tourist shop. So I went to I went to the beach. I went to the beach on. I went to the beach on Friday and they had this little, little, little store, this little, little store and they had some like old, like vintage looking, um, vintage looking, um, postcards and I got one and it has a queen on it and it has a man, let me, it has a man with a little, little piece of curly hair and I got one that was, um, a fighter jet because I liked the way it looked. I like the fighter jet postcard. Aerial attack washer, aerial attack washer. <laughs> yeah. So that's just. <laughs> I just watched. You know what? I just watched. Um, I was watching an episode of a Reki actually. The Reki where um this teenage boy steals um a police helicopter and flies around around the city. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think, I don't know, I think I have a lot of like, little boy interests. I think a lot of my hobbies are like, things little boys like, yeah. I think me and, me and, me and Ember were talking about doing a dinosaur collab where we talk about dinosaurs and stuff. I think we were like joking about doing that for a panel and I was just like, <gasps> But how awesome would it have actually been if the Invaders panel was about dinosaurs? Oh, or what if it was about aliens? Oh my god, that would have been so cool! As I just got a video idea, so I'm gonna take a minute to write it down. Uh, yeah. Um, Dizzy, the child who wanted to be a fireman, dinosaur, and train conductor? I wanted to be a ballerina! I really, I really, I really, 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 you're pretty? <gasps> Thank you, Brittany! You're pretty! Um, <laughs> I'm blushing. I don't know how to follow that one up. I don't know how to follow that one up. Did you take ballet? No. 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 My papa didn't let me. My dad wanted me to be a strong and independent parasite. The elders, the elder bug, no, it's okay to be late. Um, the elder bug wanted me to be a strong and independent parasite. So I didn't do, I didn't do ballet, but I'm pretty good at woodworking. Um, uh, but yeah, I wanted to be a ballerina. I also know plumbing. I'm pretty good at plumbing. You know, sometimes, one time I was, I was out of town visiting a friend and we got an Airbnb, right? We got an Airbnb and the plumbing broke in our Airbnb and the manager, the Airbnb manager wasn't responsive. And I was just like, well, this is gonna flood. This is like, this is just flooding at this point. So what we did is we went to a home hardware store and I got all the I got all the bits and pieces that I need and I repaired the plumbing all by myself and I was really proud of myself. I was like super super proud of myself. Um it was literally like the freaking it was an issue with the sink. It wasn't even like a toilet problem. So I don't know if it really counts, but basically they had a the, the, the whole like you know, all the pipes in the sink were like loose, so it was just like blah, blah, blah. So I fixed it all by myself! I fixed it all by myself and I'm really, I was super proud of myself. I took a lot of photos for my papa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're wondering, my dad said I, said I did a shit job, so. <laughs> Uh, 
but it worked. We had running water for the rest of the trip. We had running water for the rest of the trip, so it was to me that was a good job. Now my my dad's mean, dude. My dad's like super. Elder Elder Bug is super mean. He does it. He he does it in um. Are you good at art? Not he used to be not anymore. He he like. He, he just tries to like toughen me up. I think he knows that I'm a little bit of a softy, so he tried to toughen me up as a kid. And he like, he's, he, he's like a, he's also a soft person. Um, my elder, my elder bug, the elder parasite, he still cooks me dinner and, and, uh, and buys me sweaters and, um, Aw, D'Angelo, thank you for the two dollars. And... Well, I guess that's it. Oh! 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 One time when I was sad, he gave me a hug. <laughs> we don't have a relationship where we, like, talk every day. Like, we... We're not so close that we talk every day, but he's, like, there when I need him to be, right? Uh, I think it's like also really weird for him to show affection because it's really weird for me to show affection. So like the hug was like a big act of service. Um, he's a man's man. Yeah, I think that's what he likes to think. But he like, he's really like in touch with his feminine side. Like he takes a lot of pride in his cooking and stuff, you know? But um, yeah, the elder, the elder book. Wanted, wanted to toughen me up when I was growing up. So, like... Um... I wasn't allowed to do ballet and stuff, but he taught me plumbing and woodworking. And... What else did he teach? I, oh! He didn't teach me cooking. I still don't know how to cook. I think, he, honestly, I, I think he dropped the ball there. I, I, I genuinely just think he dropped the ball really hard there. <laughs> um, what else did he teach? Mm, I don't know. Our flowers are great. You look like a flower. In my washing machine? <laughs> um. Oh! Oh, he taught me how to do laundry! I, I knew how to do laundry really young. I, I learned how to do laundry really, really, really young. I learned on my first life. <laughs> yeah, so I can do plumbing and woodworking and laundry. But I cannot cook a. I do not know how to make a make a pot roast. No, 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 no. <laughs> flower bug, flower bug, flower bug. Three jobs. Yeah. Did you always like doing laundry? I I despise laundry day. If there is one thing I don't like, it's laundry. But you gotta do the laundry, and you gotta do it well, so that your clothes stay in good quality and you don't have to spend a bunch of money buying replacement clothes. That is uh, my adult lesson for the day. Laundry day, hate! Laundry day, hate! How many times have you tried to cook, by the way? I don't know. Um... Probably like 10? Probably like 10. I can, I can make steak. I can make a steak. I can make a nice, uh, rare steak. I don't know how to make a medium rare steak, but I can make a rare steak. Uh, I can also make a blue steak, because I used to, I used to eat my steaks blue. Um, I used to eat my, my steaks blue a lot. Um, does using the microwave count as cooking? No. No. Uh, blue steak, yeah, it's like basically raw. Um, 
egg? I don't know how to cook egg. I can't. I, I, I haven't. Because I don't like eggs that much, so I don't know how to cook eggs. But then, and then Ember tells me that I have to learn how to cook eggs. Because if you learn how to cook an egg, you basically know how to cook already. But I don't know how to cook, so she says, um... To learn how to cook eggs. Do you have a mom? I do have a mother bug. I do have a mother bug. Uh, we have a good relationship, but my mother bug... <sighs> With love... With love, mother bug's a bimbo. My mother bug is, um, dumb. My mother bug is painfully, painfully dumb. So that's where you get it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I get it from her. Um... I love her. She's she's like the sweetest woman. She tries her best. But it's like It's like leaving the stove on. <laughs> You're so smart, well, I'm like smart. You're the smartest bug in the washing machine I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh I have a good yeah, I have a good relationship with my family. It's okay. She, she, she's, she, she's pretty. My mom's pretty, so she, she'll, she'll live. She'll live. <laughs> Who does the cooking in your household then? Sometimes, sometimes my dad would cook. Um, sometimes my, my papa cook, but we mostly all eat separately, and we all mostly all eat out. So yeah. I also like pizza pops a lot. Uh, main thing is she's pretty. Honestly, and no, by her standards, that's all she needs. Yeah, no, no. She's like very affectionate. I get a lot of kisses and hugs. I hate kisses and hugs. I, mm, I'm not a touchy feely person. Uh, I get a lot of kisses, but she likes it. So I like, I, I let her kiss and hug me. She likes it. She likes it. My mommy likes it. Uh, so mommy, but. Mummy bug likes kisses and hugs, so I get a lot of kisses and hugs. But also, in the same breath, it's like, she'll kiss me, and then she'll be like... Why are you stinky? You sure are stinky today, Dizzy? And I'll just be like, thanks, Mom! That's what I really needed! <laughs> How do we start talking about the bug family? The bug family. Yeah. Um, stink bug. <laughs> you just got stink bugged. Um. Yeah, bless her heart. Bless her heart. She tries her best. Uh, <laughs> I love stinky girls. Not gonna lie. Okay, can someone please explain this to me? Can someone please explain the appeal of a stinky woman? Does, Cause like I keep, I keep seeing it, but I don't, I don't get it. I actively try to smell good, okay. I am not, I did not wake up and choose to be sweat and slime. I was born sweat and slime, but if I could, I would like to, to be. I would like to smell like roses, you know. It's only acceptable if it's after work or after the gym. Oh, that makes sense. It's a biology thing. You guys are... Humans are weird. Humans are weirdos. A girl that smells like woodworking is a good find. Ooh, ooh, I really like... Yeah, I like wood smells too. I like I like woody smells. I really like woody smells. Mm -mm -mm. Um, put rose detergent in your wash bin. No, I actually don't like roses that much, but if, like, I naturally smell like roses, I wouldn't be complaining, you know? Um. Humans are animals at the end of the day with extra brain. Too much brain. Too much brain. Um. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. 
I don't know why I naturally smell like. I know that. I know that my wash. I either smell like. Well, after a shower, I either smell like coconut, or strawberry, or mango, because I have coconut and strawberry, and mango. I have scented, scented um, body wash. So yeah. <laughs> You need someone else to tell you your natural smell. Hold on, let me message Emba. She'd probably just tell me I'm stinky though, because she's been like forced to be in a closed room with me for long periods of time. Um, Do pets have a nice natural smell? No. Well, it depends on the pet. You're so cute! No, you're so cute! <laughs> Call an Ember to sniff Tess? I wonder if she's, she'd even respond. Do I even have her on this account? What do I smell like? <laughs> Too much scent hiding. Just get soap. Soap is the best combo of natural person smell. No, but different soaps smell differently, duh! Um, ooh, and I gotta get new shampoo soon, actually. I'm almost out of shampoo. Uh, what does Ember smell like? Ember smells cute. Ember smells good. Ember smells pretty good. Uh, not if they're unscented. No, but I want, I like sniffing things. I really like sniffing things. Um, like if I'm at, the drugstore or the grocery store, I like to go to the like shampoo and the body wash section and I just like to go <laughs> Bye bye! Thanks for dropping by the stream! Um, Bed Bath & Beyond is Bed Bath & Beyond actually s sell bed and bath stuff because I think I've been in a Bed Bath & Beyond and it's all beyond! One time for a secret Santa, one time for a workplace secret Santa, someone got me a bed and... Someone, someone got me a Bed Bath & Beyond gift, and it was just like a head scratcher. And I don't know how a head scratcher is bed or bath. It's all beyond. Ooh, from the beyond. <laughs> I know there's that place called like, um, bed, bed, bath, or like bath and body, but bed and, bed and body or something. I think it's called bed and body. There's like, um, a bath and body works. Yeah, that place. I know that place cause, cause that has a lot of things that smell nice, but I don't like going in there because the salespeople are really intimidating. Like, I have never seen such an aggressive group of people. But like the bed, the, the bed, bed and body works, the bath and body works people, like, I'm sorry, if there was a, if there was a riot of just bath and body people, hundreds would die. Hundreds. They're not commissioned. Why are they so aggressive then? I don't know. I think they're really scary. Thousands even. Hundreds dead. This just in. This just in from Dizzy's washing machine. Hundreds died in a Bath and Body Works riot. More at six. Oh, I guess it's already six. It's already past six. Well, I guess it has to be six p.m. somewhere. Is it six p.m. anywhere right now? Is it six p.m. anywhere in the world right now? I'm going down the list. I'm going down the list. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going down the list. I actually don't think it's six p.m. anywhere. Huh. Alaska almost. Okay. Happy 6 p.m. Alaska. 
San Fran, 6 p.m. Well, no, it's 6.52 in San Fran right now. It's nearly 8 where I am. You better get to bed soon. Actually, how early do you guys sleep? How early do you sleep? I want to learn how to go... I want to learn how to... I want to learn how to go to bed earlier. I want to learn how to go to bed earlier. But my sleep schedule's been, like, really bad. It's been really, really bad. Mostly because of Opkai. Because, like, I get so excited that I spend, like... Well, okay, it's for fanfiction. I'm lying. I'm lying. It's for fanfiction. It's for fanfiction. The fanfiction, like... <laughs> the fanfiction's been keeping me up. 4 a.m., like, a functional person. 11 p.m. on work nights. 11 p.m.'s pretty good. Um, due to arena. 2 a.m. most days. Oh, my God. I had sleeping problems, so sometimes 7 p.m. That's good. Sleeping early is good for you, I think. Someone told me that once. Um, I'm really stuffy. We know you're really stuffy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been going to bed at like two or three recently, so it's been really late. I like sleeping early though, because I like getting up early. Because if I get up early, I th I think I can do more. Um, did you used to write fan fiction? Did you mind? No, no, no. Well. I did, I did write some fanfiction from my one friend, um, I did write some fanfiction, <laughs> this is embarrassing, I did write some fanfiction for my one friend, for, for their OCUs, I don't know, that's like, ugh, I feel like that's below fanfiction writing, oh, that's embarrassing, that's embarrassing, I did also have, I also did have a friend, Write me into one of our fanfictions. That. Now that. Was embarrassing. You know the thing is. I wasn't even like into. The fandom. Like I, I was just being really nice. Because it was like back when I was young. And there was this girl. That uh, had some of the same hobbies and interests. As me. And she didn't have a lot of friends. So I wanted to be her friend. So I, I, I hung out with her. And then she was just like telling me about um, Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts fanfiction, right? Her Kingdom Hearts fanfiction. I I played Kingdom Hearts, but I'm not like I wasn't like in the Kingdom Hearts fanfiction, like the Kingdom Hearts community, you know? Because there's like communities. So she was telling me about her Kingdom Hearts fanfiction, and she was just like, "Yeah, it's about Organization 13, and uh, this is by OC." And she, I, I ship her with Saix in my fanfiction. Oh my god, Gigi, would you like to be in my Kingdom Hearts fanfiction? And I was just like, okay. And she was just like, okay, was, is there any any character that you'd like to be shipped with? And I was like, um, let me think on that. So, Organization 13, I don't even remember who I told her to ship me with. I wrote Kingdom Hearts fanfic as a team. <gasps> my friend, Nakama? My friend, is that you? <laughs> um, I, I, I think cause she had another friend that was shipped with Axel. And I'm not really, what's his? I don't know. Oh, Luxord? Luxord. Yeah, I think I told her to just ship me with that Luxord guy. Because, um, I liked his hair. <laughs> yeah. Yuk Yuk? Was he the huge guy? Um, looking at him now, he seems decently... He seems decently big. He seems de decently big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she ended up writing me into her fanfiction and she would like bring photos, like drawings of the characters to school. And she was just like, okay, Dizzy, what character, what color hair do you want? And um, I don't know. I, I was just like, I don't know. And so she she drew an OC for me. And so I'm in her fanfiction now, forever. I think that's a great place to end our stream for today. 
I think that's a great place to end our stream for today. Um, we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about so much stuff. Uh, let's go over. Wait, 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 wait. I have to tell you guys about my sketch. I'm gonna post it on Twitter. Uh, wait, you didn't explain the fabric softener? Um, oh, okay, let me explain fabric softener and why I don't believe in fabric softener. So the reasons that white fabric softener is bad is actually the ingredients of fabric softener basically work by um, using a chemical compound that makes like your clothes, like, you know, your clo clothing fires feel softer, but it's actually a coating. So if you have mold problems in your dryer or in your washer, that's probably from too much fabric softener and you're probably gonna need to clean out your dryer or your washer or whatever. So instead of fabric softener, which is mostly chemicals, I recommend that you try um, tennis balls in your dryers and that should naturally fluff things up by beating, beating the shit out of your clothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Does that work? Okay, schedule for a week, schedule for a week, schedule for a week, schedule for a week, schedule for a week. I don't remember it, so I have to pull it up. <laughs> my schedule! No, no, me! Uh, talk about my schedule! You guys talk about my schedule, guys! Um, Figma. I found my schedule in Figma. I like Figma. Um. So, schedule for this week. Schedule for this week is, um, I'm. Okay, so I'm not sober necessarily, but I've basically been sober for a while. Like, I don't drink like that. But I'm gonna break that. I, I'm gonna break my my not really sobriety kind of sobriety. Like I just I, I don't drink much. Um, so we're gonna break not really sobriety but kind of sobriety um, on Monday tomorrow um, to celebrate the end of Off Kai. Um, by having an international beer reveal. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of tall boys. I'm gonna buy a bunch of big boys, and we're gonna drink those. And we're gonna reveal them. And I've never revealed beer before. Do you like One Piece? I do like One Piece. Um, I've never revealed beer before, so I might not know what I'm talking about. But we're gonna try it. We're gonna do our best. Uh, and then Tuesday, I'm gonna take a day off on Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday, we're gonna play Age of Wonders 4 because I'm only allowed three gaming hours per week. Uh, and then Thursday, I'm off. And then Friday, I'm off. And then on Saturday, I have I have a visual novel to pitch to you guys. And you guys are gonna like it so much. And you guys are gonna fund it. And then we're gonna have an official Phase Connect visual novel project. Yes. And then... Uh, and then... And then on Sunday, we have the Out of Character stream. Whatever that means. Where this time we're gonna be talking about character acting or character tropes, whatever that means. Or we might talk about YouTube and Twitch because I've been wanting to talk about YouTube and Twitch for a minute. But I haven't like found, here's the thing, I wanna talk about it in my shorts because that's where I wanna put most of that content. But every single time I try and make a short, I always stumble on my words and I don't know what to say and I'm not very good at it. So we're taking a break from shorts for a bit. We might come back to it later this week. Um, but yeah, yeah, hopefully that will do pretty okay. Hopefully you guys like the out of character streams, whatever those are. Um, maybe a video instead of a shirt. I think I'm gonna do another short video this week. I think I'll give you guys at least one short video. I try to do at least one short video a week, sometimes two. I really like it when I can do two, but it's hard doing two. And then I, I never know what you guys are gonna like. Uh, someone at my meet and greet asked me to do more horror stuff and I really, was really, really, really happy about that because I really like making those videos. Um, <laughs> Washroom was funny. Do you guys like washroom? I, know, I thought maybe you guys don't like washroom very much. But I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Um, but that's it for this week. And then I have some really 
hopefully I have something pretty good lined up for you guys next week. Red Shipley, thank you for five dollars. Thank you for stream Dizzy, missed you a lot. Looking forward to a new week of Dizzy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try and make all my streams this week. I'm gonna do it. No try, no try. Just do. I'm gonna make all my streams this week. Um. I'm gonna spend more time with you, and we're gonna have lots of fun together. And thank you so much to everyone who showed up to support um, um, Offkai, and thank you to everyone who came to my stream today, because I was really worried that it's been a while since my last stream, and that none of you guys would come to my stream, and then I'd be really lonely, and then I'd be crying, and then I'd be a nervous wreck, but I guess I always am a nervous wreck, but it's okay, because I'm in the dryer right now. Um, where can I get a dizzy washing machine? at your local home hardware store um but yeah thank you guys and i'll see you soon bye bye wow that transition messed up okay bye 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 oh and i miss you i'll miss you until next time bye bye